Hello everyone, today I will be analyzing the possible plastic surgery procedures of the members of GFRIEND. This video was requested in the comment section of my list set of in plastic surgery analysis video. If you have any requests which group you want to see me analyze, please leave it in the comments. I think plastic surgery is neither bad or good, and celebrities has immense pressure to look as good as they possibly can which can be helped by plastic surgery. I think it will be a healthier environment if celebrities in general are more open and honest about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures that they've done, or at least not lie about it, so the general public can see that beauty is attainable through plastic surgery. I know there's a stigma around plastic surgery all around the world, but people need to realize that it's pretty common among celebrities, as it's demanded by society that celebrities look perfect, so we shouldn't blame them if they resort to plastic surgery. I want this video series to be a form of discussion between people who are interested in the possible procedures celebrities had, and break the negative sentiment around plastic surgery. I assume that many celebrities, including K-pop idols, have done some sort of cosmetic procedures because their occupation demands them to look as good as they possibly can. I may be totally wrong about this assumption as I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. A few disclaimers before we begin. I'm not a plastic surgeon, nor have I gotten plastic surgery, so my knowledge in this area is limited. These are just my speculations and not facts. I have no idea about the member's medical history, and these are just my speculations, so you can respectfully disagree. This post is not meant to send hate to the members, as they are probably pressured by the industry to look as good as they possibly can. With that out of the way, let's get started. So one has adorable pretty beat photos online. She has always been pretty. I don't see many changes to her face. I think she may have gotten a rhinoplasty as her nose from the side profile view looks to be more projected and her nose tip also looks sharper now. So one's chin also looks to be sharper and longer compared to her debut days. She likely got a chin implant to achieve this look. We can also see that her eyelids look to be more exposed now. This was likely caused by an upper blepharoplasty to make her eyes look less heavy and hooded. The possible upper blepharoplasty was really well done. They didn't remove too much excess skin, only changing her look slightly. In conclusion, I think Soan got a rhinoplasty, chin implant, and upper blepharoplasty. She has always looked amazing. I personally don't think the possible procedures were necessary and she has always been really pretty, in my opinion. Moving on to Yerin. I couldn't find that many pretty beat photos of Yerin, so I might miss some procedures. She had an amazing glow up from her childhood photos. Without looking at her pretty beat photos, I suspected that she got a rhinoplasty. I think this way because her nose looks over projected from the side profile as the bottom part of her nose form a perfectly straight line and her nose looks to be too upturned for her face now. We can clearly see lines separating the bridge of her nose with the base of her nose, which can be a sign of a nose implant. I also think she may have gotten a suture double eyelid surgery, which is a non-incisional method that creates more natural looking double eyelids, though I don't have enough photos to believe in the speculation completely. In conclusion, I think Yerin got a rhinoplasty and suture double eyelid surgery. I love her big bright smile. She looks amazing both pre-debut and now. Moving on to Unha. Unha has a lot of adorable childhood photos online. It seems like she used to be a child model. She has always been pretty. I think it's pretty obvious that she got double eyelid surgery and she now has really high double eyelids. She has always had small double eyelids. But the possible double eyelid surgery made her eyelids extra high. I think this procedure was really unnecessary as it looks like the surgery also made it harder for her to open her eyes fully. It's also pretty obvious that her nose bridge is slimmer and more projected now compared to the pre debut photos. She likely got a nose implant. I also don't think this procedure was necessary as her nose already fed her face very well. Her current chin also looks sharper now. She likely got a chin implant to achieve this look and to bring her chin forward slightly. She also likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips to make her lips appear fuller. In conclusion, I think Unha got double eyelid surgery, rhinoplasty, chin implant, and fillers to her top and bottom lips. I personally think the possible procedures weren't necessary as she has already been really pretty. Moving on to Yuju. 
I found pretty big Yuju to look a lot like Moonbyul. She has always been pretty. I think the most obvious change to her face are her eyes. She used to have small eyes with monolids. Then, when she first debuted, she has big eyes with small double eyelids. This was likely caused by double eyelid surgery paired with ptosis repair. Recently, her eyes look smaller compared to her debut days and she has higher double eyelids now. She likely got another double eyelid surgery to make her eyelids higher. I personally think the second eyelid surgery wasn't necessary as it only made it seem like it's hard for her to open her eyes fully. She also likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips to make her thin lips fuller. I also think Yuju got a rhinoplasty. Currently, we can see that there's a line separating the tip of her nose with the base of her nose. This was not present in the pre-debut photos. She likely got a rhinoplasty to make her nose look slimmer. I think she got two rhinoplasties. One before her debut which made her nose slightly slimmer and more projected and making the nose tip longer. Then she got another rhinoplasty not too long ago as her nose seems to look slightly different compared to her debut days. In conclusion, I think Yuji got ptosis repair with two double eyelid surgeries, two rhinoplasties, and fillers to her top and bottom lips. I personally think the possible rhinoplasties weren't necessary as her original nose already fits her face very well. Second eyelid surgery was also not necessary in my opinion as her first eyelid surgery already fit her face very well. Moving on to Sinbi. Sinbi has a lot of adorable pretty beat photos online. It looks like she used to be a child model. She has always been pretty. Without looking at her pretty beat photos, I suspected that she got a rhinoplasty as her nose looks too thin and over projected for the proportions of her face. After looking at her pretty beat photos, I became more confident of my speculation. She has always had a small and projected nose, but she likely got a nose implant to make her nose even slimmer and more projected. I think this procedure was really unnecessary as her original nose already fits her face very well and I think her current nose looks unnatural for her face. Sin B may have also gotten double eyelid surgery. She has always had big eyes but she didn't have double eyelids. Well, after her debut, she has double eyelids. I believe this was likely caused by double eyelid surgery as when Sin B is looking down, we can see a clear consistent line on her eyelid crease. This is usually a sign of double eyelid surgery. In conclusion, I think Sin B got a rhinoplasty and double eyelid surgery. I think she has always been pretty and I don't think the possible procedures were necessary. Last but not least, we have Umji. Umji has adorable pretty big selkas online. She has always been pretty. I find it hard to believe that people used to bully her by calling her ugly. I'm glad she can regain her confidence after the relentless bullying she endured when she was young. I think the biggest change to her face is the volume of her face. She used to be chubbier when she just debuted, but her current face is a lot slimmer. This was likely caused by a combination of weight loss and partial buckle fat removal. I think this way because the change was pretty drastic even though she didn't lose that much weight. Some people who naturally have a lot of buckle fat find it hard to lose it even after extreme weight loss. Umji's eyelids are likely natural as the size of her eyelids are inconsistent. Her nose is also likely natural as I don't think it changed from the pre-debut photos. In conclusion, I think Umji likely got partial buckle fat removal. She has always been pretty. I love how confident she is these days despite of previously having been bullied. Remember when I do this analysis, I'm always at a neutral position. I don't think plastic surgery is bad nor good, so let's not spread unnecessary hate towards the members or my opinions. I hope anyone watching this takes this post in a positive way and realize that plastic surgery is not a bad thing. We need to understand that K-pop idols and other celebrities have a lot of pressure to look good and it's not a bad thing if they resort to plastic surgery as it is demanded by society. As I stated in the beginning, this is not meant for fuel to send hate towards the members. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.